Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just a story on what happened with me yesterday. So yesterday I had a car accident. Everyone's alright, I'm alright myself. The driver of the other vehicle, he's alright as well. It was just a little um, hit on, except the damage is pretty scary. So yesterday I was going to Elizabeth and didn't expect anything to happen and all that stuff until I got to the roundabout on Elizabeth Way and yeah, um, I thought I had enough time and obviously I didn't and all that stuff so yeah, I've collided with someone and yeah, my car is pretty badly damaged and all that stuff so yeah, so today's video is just talking about it and what happened so as you guys know, I've had a car accident and it's my first one um, I've only had my um, piece for about two months and yeah, when it happened, I was in complete shock and I, as soon as I pulled over, put my um, lights on, like my um, hazard lights on, I just bawled my eyes out and I completely started crying and I was like, I was just in disbelief and all that stuff and I was like, I cannot believe this happened. Like, I've watched things about car accidents and I've always said to myself, this is not going to happen, so it's like I've jinxed myself and now it's happened. I'm still um, shaken from it, like I was shaking this morning and I was like no nah, I don't even know if I can even drive again because I'm too scared that I'm going to have another accident. I will show you some photos um, near the end of the video to show you what the damage was and I'll probably show you the other vehicle as well. All his damage was was just like a little bump so like a dent and two tyres popped because he's obviously run up the gutter and has either popped his tyres through there or he's um, broken something in between the vehicle and like the two tyres and all that stuff. So how it happened was, all I can remember was I was in the left lane turning left, I had my left indicator on and he was entering the roundabout and I've always been told by my instructor, so before I got my um, P's and all that stuff, I've always been told if you can walk across the road and there's like a decent sized gap and you can walk across you should be able to go. He was just entering the roundabout, like wasn't even on the roundabout yet and he just started entering before I've taken off and all of a sudden I've looked away to keep turning left, I've taken off and I've kept looking, I looked around, like looked to my right again and all of a sudden he sped up. At first I thought I was going to hit his front end but I didn't, I've hit his side, um, I've hit his left behind the passenger side that's where I've hit him and he's swerved a bit and that's when he's put up the gutter and I've gotten distracted a little bit and started driving off a little bit but I've been able to pull over and as soon as I seen his car I was just in shock and all that stuff so I'm not sure who's the in fault but I feel like I am because um I left and all that stuff but I feel like it's a bit of him as well because he's obviously sped up and I've seen it and I've not stepped on the brake to try and avoid it but he said that he tried to avoid me and I've just hit him so so yeah I was in pretty bad shock um, once I finally took a moment to have a moment to breathe and all that stuff because I was in so much like shock and all that stuff I was able to calm down and call the police and I dialed triple zero straight away and contacted them and notified that there was a car accident and um, it was just about the roundabout so they were telling me where it was so we had fireys like fire truck ambulance and all that stuff coming to assess the um, area because I was a bit worried because there was um, a stain like a oil something leak on the floor but it was just my cool gate that um, spilt out somehow not sure how but it's probably from the collision so yeah um had to do a um rv test or whatever it is something breath test or something drug and alcohol test to make sure that i was fine and wasn't drunk or drunk driving or anything that was scary and um i was all clear for that and then we've just had to um get details and excuse me and yeah so that's all that basically happened um so my car is now at the crash repairs, getting fixed and um, just hoping that it's not going to cost so, cost so much but by the time you guys have probably seen the photo you'll probably be like yeah that's going to cost you a fair bit because the damage is pretty bad. 
I've damaged the bonnet, the bumper, and the side of the car a little bit, and basically the headlight as well. So my my driver's side headlight has come off. Basically, that basically all smashed. Like as soon as I, all I remember was as soon as um we hit the car, I just seen something fly up into the sky, and I'm like, yep, there goes my side of my car. That's gonna be done. So so yeah. Um, I'll show you guys a photo in a minute, and I'll be back. Alright guys, so as you just seen, so that was my car that you guys just seen, and I was quite shocked about the damage. I will show you another photo of the damage that I've done to the other car, so I'll just show you that quickly. Alright guys, so obviously as you guys just seen, that was his car. Not much damage he had, but it's still a little bit of damage and all that stuff um this is the um ending of the video i hope you guys enjoyed this video um not sure when the next video will be up but there will be definitely a next video coming um give this video a big thumbs up smash that like button comment down below anything and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys